This is Josh from Brute Force Cornhole Reviews out here today with you. We have the Ember from Fire Cornhole, the newest bag they just released. I just got these recently. First, they've been able to come out and throw that we're not getting snow or rain. Haven't done anything to these. They came out of the package. These are brand new. Pretty stiff, brand new, but we're going to give them a shot brand new so you know how they play and then how they play once they're broken in. We're looking at 48 degrees, a nice warm 48 degrees up here and 47% humidity. Nice break from the weather we've been having. So let's get throwing and we'll try these bad boys out because I got to get ready for work. But uh, like always, want to give a shout out to our first sponsor. Wow, that, that thing long up there. I hocked that sucker. Um, Cutthroat Cornhole Company. And he makes the hacksaw in the butcher right now with some more bags to come. So stay tuned for that. And as soon as I get a discount code or we work something out for that, I will let you guys know. Um, we're still working out the stipulations of the sponsorship and what we're going to give back to you guys uh, without a website and stuff. So we'll work on that. But yep, that's that. So back to the bags. These are the Embers, the newest carpet bag from them. And I mean, they're pretty stiff, brand new, but that carpet plays pretty good. And I actually like the way it feels in the hand. I can't imagine once these things get broken in. Winnie, that's enough. They lay a nice flat bag in the air. And they actually, I mean, not going to be super hole friendly, but they're kind of hole friendly being brand new, but they are stiff. So keep that in mind that they are brand new. These have not been washed or nothing. With these, I do believe I'm going to do a hot water soak or a warm water soak and then tumble dry with a little, with low heat just to dry them out. And then tumble dry with, wow, I really chucked these things. That stayed right on the board. I can't even believe that. And then a low tumble dry with no heat. So I think these things, I mean, kind of being stiff is part of the reason they're throwing such a flat bag right now, but they are pretty amazing. Um, we'll switch over to the fast side here because that slow side carpet's actually really nice. I like it. We'll get a close up of it, of it down there. But we'll come back with the fast side here. Oops. I didn't think I was going to stay. Winnie, that's enough. No, go. 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 No. I'm sorry, guys. I really apologize for the dog. I don't know what is her issue right now. Throwing me off, I can tell you that. There we go. So even that fast side isn't too, too bad. It does have a slickness to it that I think you could push with, but it does slow down pretty nice. And I think in hum really, really humid conditions, I think these would be kind of a slower bag. But in these conditions, and obviously... This is brand new, so I got to get them broken in. But now I'm off my game here. But, well, front board. I do like them. Wow, not one on the board. That was embarrassing. Been a while since I had a fire bag. The last ones I think I had were the assaults. And then I was going to get torches. Then fire came out with these. So I decided to give these things a whirl. Let's see what the dog does. Winnie, go girl, go. No, go, go. Fast side does have a pretty slickness to it though. It's, But it does still kind of grab the board. I mean, these are already starting to flop up a little bit just from throwing them. So I think once I get them a nice little soak and a tumble dry, it's gonna be a really good bag. I don't know what is going on with her right now. But we'll do one more down and back with both, just throwing both sides, carpet in, fast side. We'll call it a day. And I will unfortunately go get ready for work. Careful. She literally hit that out of midair. Go. 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 I apologize, guys. I don't even know how that still stayed on the board. Talk about extreme cornhole. Throw over your dog. Who's jumping over the board. Right in the hole. I apologize, guys. I don't even know how that stayed on the board. She hit it with her tail. And that somehow stayed on the board right here. It's incredible. But. Go down one more time. No, Winnie. What is going on with you? That's enough. No. Go! I really apologize, guys. I do not know what's going on with her. All right, let's throw these last two bags. 
all day. I really apologize for her. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know why she's freaking out right now. She's usually hyper, but not like that. Good enough. All right, well, that is the Ember from Fire Cornhole, the newest bag from their lineup. Get close up here at the front. I'll get close up at the back, maybe. See that carpet? It's a familiar carpet. It's been on a lot of bags, so it's not too unfamiliar. But that is the Ember from Fire Cornhole. Like I said, the newest bag in their lineup. It's already loosening up a little bit, so it shouldn't be long before we can do the full review on these. We'll go over the speeds and everything like that. And this is Josh from Brute Force Cornhole Reviews. Stay tuned for the full review. I'll get them broken in. We'll keep throwing. Uh, I just want to give a little caveat. I do apologize for the dog. And it might be difficult to watch with her running around. But I do apologize for that. But I try to bring you guys the best videos I can. But this is real life. And this is what happens. So have a good one. Keep throwing. And check in for the full review.